Hey, I'm Justin, and this is my Aerophone. We are here today to bring you Justin's Aerophone Adventure. I'm Justin, and this is my aer aforementioned Aerophone. Um, an Aerophone, if you're unsure, is a... Well, this Aerophone is a digital wind instrument. It's a bit like a saxophone, and a uh, button layout, anyway. And it, um... It's like a synthesizer. It makes a whole bunch of different sounds, but like this one is the electronic keyboard sound. And while well, there are other little surprises along the way, I don't know why I said that. Because there aren't really surprises. I guess, but um, I do try to make it interesting. What we've been doing the last few days is the Star Spangled Banner. It's not a very complex song, but boys, they are loving it. And, uh, me torso, me, me, me torso. I don't know what that means. It's written on the, uh, the sheet music for the site. It's probably some kind of Italian instruction. I really couldn't tell you all those. I basically know staccato. And, uh, well, staccato basically. Um, whatever the long one is too, I, I do know that because most of the time, for whatever reason, music teacher spreads it out like that, so obviously you're supposed to hold the note up. Um, but I, I don't even think I've heard of Mace Doso. Or maybe I have, maybe I'm just pronouncing it wrong. Anyhow, um, I'm going to get onto that really quickly, but before I do, I just want to remind you to like this video, share the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then, uh, you know, after this video goes up, maybe you can uh, check out some of the links I have. Uh, I have a link to my Patreon page and a link to my website. There are tons of stuff to look around at there. And then the uh, links to my social medias, you can check out what's going on with me at all those places. Alright, well, without further ado and no more gilding the lily, we're going to switch over to the other camera. Alright, I've been having trouble with the Star Spangled Banner, and my solution is just to go for it. I'm not going to try to break it up at all. I'm just going to try to go for it. But before I do, um, I would like to play something that I think will be a little more successful. Um, might not keep you entertained for as long, but um, I, I really don't know what uh, this will do for you anyway. So this piece is called Frere Jaca. You may have heard it before. So... What you're hearing now may sound a bit different. If it does, do not worry. For every shock. Maybe not one of my best, but, um, you know, I don't have many bests, so I'll take the win. Now we're going to head on to the Star Spangled Banner and see what kind of damage we can do. Um, so yeah, here we go. Oh. 
wondering when I was going to screw up. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave and print at the end too. Not that much of this was very good, but um, some of it actually came through. I still have a weird, uh, I don't know, it goes weird there. Oh, see, it does that star spangled. Because um, that is actually two notes, does is two notes. Um, Sound weird. That's not right. Oh, I see. We're skipping one of the notes. I didn't do that last time. That's why it was. Play ball! Um, I don't know, that, that part mm, it just jumps down and get all in late streaming. Huh. <laughs> 
So I don't remember that. And then I went to put the night that our flag was still there. It's because there's so many notes in there. There's jammed. It's like, oh, say does a tar spangle. All right, um, finding out things about this. Uh, it's a little earlier than I wanted to close it, but I think I'm going to close it out on a fairly decent note. Um, I seem to be picking things up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch over to the other camera, and we'll close it out, okay? All right, well, thank you for watching. It, uh, it means a lot to me. And, uh, actually what I figured out about this is, uh, especially at the end, there are some notes that I don't feel like I should have to play. And so I'm not going to play them. Um, but I'll have to read it out or something next time. It's not a very long tune to play, so that's, that's kind of nice. Um, just maybe need to play it at the, on the right day. So I'll... We'll, I think I'm going to keep working on this one and uh, see where it takes me. Uh, because I think there's a lot of good in this. Uh, it just needs, I just need to figure it out, figure it all out. And um, maybe I'll bring it to you another time when it's uh, more well worked on and actually finished. I know it's, it's kind of long compared to what I've been doing, so um, yeah. I couldn't really find a spot that, like, just, I'll pick it up here and start playing it. Although, there are some spots that jump out to me, so maybe I should have done that. But, anyway, for now, I think it's mostly just certain notes that I didn't really enjoy as much as others. Um, 
but I thought overall it was a decent experience, so I hope you did as well. Um, next week I have no idea what I'm going to do, I've got to uh, think on that, but until then, you don't have to worry about it, because I'm going to be worrying about it. Um, so I will see you next week, take care, and bye bye. Hey, I'm just in time and welcome to Unit of Time, where I bring you a little factoid that is in the form of whatever I choose on my decision roulette wheel. Um, yeah, so uh, it could be anything and it could be on anything because I basically just choose it off the top of my head what, the, um, what it's going to be about. So let's just jump into it. It's it's pretty simple to understand, but you'll get it better once you actually see it done. It's a riddle! I have found a riddle for you. And now that I think about it, I need to give you a little hint. It's uh, an item you might find in your house, um, specifically in your kitchen. A container without hinges, lock or a key, yet a golden treasure lies inside me. What am I? An egg. It's simple. It's an egg! An egg! Well, that's all the time we've got here on Unit of Time today. I hope you learned something. I certainly... Well, I, I didn't really, but, um... You know, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, maybe i passed some information off to you. Just let me know in the comments down below. Alright, well, I will see you later, and take care. Bye-bye.